Do you long for a feeling of dread? A sensation that is foreign and rarely met by the realm of gaming? Or maybe you just enjoy when a gaming challenge goes Johnny Sins on your ass, leaving you physically and mentally impaired. If you said yes to one of those, then congratulations, and get ready to dabble in an experience that has thick and hot depravity smothered all over its face. Doom Eternal's combat is based around movement. The game itself encourages you to be constantly on the move and brutally punishes you if you aren't. But what if we went against against the grain, the very framework that makes Doom Eternal so damn fun. Can you beat Doom Eternal without walking? Just like a father in a domestic abuse case, this challenge is going to be hitting us hard, but this is something we should all be used to by now. Let me give you an in-depth Goatseed OnlyFans.com look into the technologically impressive feat that I have created. Outside of cutscenes, the Doom Slayer cannot walk, so that means our only method of movement is jumping and or dashing. While jumping, I am able to move forward little by little, and that is how I will traverse through the wretched lands of this game. To make sure I do not accidentally commit the cardinal sin of walking, I have set up my trusty Xbox controller with Joy to Key. This will make any movement in a direction perform a jump. This setup even makes it to where it is impossible to even perform the action of walking. Now many of you may be thinking, but Senza, you could have easily done this with a keyboard. To which I would reply, pain is a fickle mistress. Now before we begin on this challenge that any sensible sentient being would absolutely abhor, go ahead and turn off that top 10 busty demons video and grab your nearest body pillow, because we're going to be playing some uncut, unadulterated hopscotch in hell. Can arguably the stupidest run on my channel be the most difficult? Will Kanye Maker be an exquisite contributor to sending me further down the autistic spectrum? I absolutely do not want to find out. This grotesque visual novel about a man saving his unattended child, aka Earth, begins like no other. This is where I'd spread my cheeks for you, a channel member of mine comes into play. His name is actually quite fitting, because the Doom Slayer is the type of man you keep your wife, girlfriend, grandpa, and daughters away from. Beautifully figured, with an extra dosage of thick thrown in there, his dopamine receptors were tingling, and the demons breathing on Earth below are the only thing that could satisfy his insatiable thirst. In an effort to surprise you with a wacky and out of nowhere trans transition, here we are to begin this torture porn. Locomotion is in shambles, and this is where the difficulty was truly going to come into play. That was ready to be culturally enriched from the poundings we were inevitably going to receive. To tack onto this fun, I decided that the only firearm I could use this run is a combat shotgun. Literally the closest thing this game has to getting slapped in the face with a soggy loaf of bread. Grenades, glory kills, and my chainsaw will also be used from time to time. Hey guys, Future Senza here. Past Senza is stupid, ugly, and I hate him for this decision. Fuck you. Two minutes into the run, and I was already feeling the repercussions of doing such a challenge. I was playing the manly version of childhood hopscotch, except this time it involved bullets, and death, and chainsaws, and pants so tight we could see the Doom Slayer's test. Bearing nothing but a shotgun and being congenitally malformed, I hopped right into the DMs of these demons. However, comma, I won't let the fact that I'm a cripple get in the way of my masculinity. After letting the first hell priest know that his business of torturing the human race was going to be at a mass massive financial loss, I silenced him with some of that sweet, sweet Senza hentai. A patron so lavishly gifted me and set off to finish this level. As we go on and tackle the Scooby Dooby Dookie mysteries that this game has to offer together, id Software will want to see us fail, to suffer, to exercise their power over us. But don't you worry, without the double dash ability, some obstacles may seem impossible to pass. But after spending 100% of 30 minutes figuring this jump out, I can tell you that persistence is key. Lack of momentum will be a problem in this run, as Doom Eternal forces you to suckle that right off the tit. Without the help of running or walking, platforming will be a problem, but unlike my father, you will be with me through all of these hardships. Right guys? Guys? Guys! Guys, come on! This challenge was quick to blast another hot turd down my throat. Going from high octane, balls to the wall, alternative for Viagra gameplay, to this was night and day. After dying a few times and finding out my climbing experience has been ruined by my lack of functioning legs and discovering that I have the intrinsic ability of stroking the f*** out. We got this. 
All right. Yes! No! This child-friendly broadcast was off to a great start. As I hopped my way through, I realized that the sticky bomb was going to be my only saving tits this run. And up I went to a meeting with the other hell priests. These little anal tumors were surprised by my oh, presence. No. Fortunately, they too were going to follow a popular trend. One that involved dying, of course. But out of nowhere, here comes fucking Kanye. <sighs> and she had to ruin it. The Doom Slayer went from fully erect to inhumanly soft and nearly a record-breaking second. This man that has been forced to jump was on a mission to take every one of these demons to the local school playground and challenge them to some hopscotch. And when I mean playground, I mean that it was going to hurt for everyone but him. Exultra was next, and it was time to get in on this action. The demons had no problem telling me their feelings, and I had no problems denying their sexual advances. But I was embraced with the sad reality of this run. It wasn't the Kyles that forced their masculinity onto me like it was some sort of nightmarish television ad, but the treacherous environment. I now realize this run was secretly disguised as a pain fetishist gulag. And for more top tens of me dying because of no momentum, be sure to subscribe to watch Mojo. But after a premeditated 300 IQ play, I made my way across and sustained myself off of the blood of innocent demons. Surprisingly, I was met by the CEO of Smegma during this next part. God forbid you try playing Doom Eternal without walking and even the smallest tasks turn into the hardest. Being the innovative and experienced gamer that I am, it didn't take long for my exceptionally small brain to find a speedrunning tactic. Time and brain cells was just a small price for what I was rewarded with. I now had speed and I was addicted, but not Stop. the drug. I, I wasn't- God. Operation, the only difference between me and cancer is that my dad didn't beat cancer, is now in full effect. With dashing now obtained, this bad boy is going to be a no-no in combat because that would make things easy and we don't want, we hate, oh god damn it, I fucking hate easy. Our only method of movement in combat is jumping. Outside of fighting my enemies, I will allow its use. My movement and this gun that just so happens to suck straight up septic water through a straw is going to take its toll on me. My only saving grace is going to be these sticky bombs. Those will be the catalyst to my erection. These little bad boys will rip and tear until it is done. You guys get it? <laughs> You guys like- Okay, I'll stop. With my exceptionally voluptuous ass in possession of the trademark celestial butt plug, I bunny hopped my way through, praying that this sea of subhuman trash wouldn't annihilate me. If you are wondering why in God's name I am censoring the tentacles in this run, be sure to read up on the lore in my last Doom video. For the second half of this baby's first time in hell, I was generously met with pain and agony. Not only was the demonic pre-cum that follows anti-Doom Slayer practices a tedious bitch to get through, but also my lack of movement was drastically affecting my tip-top performance. Speaking about suffering, I think I probably hold the world record for deaths on the platforming puzzles in Doom Eternal. Even with Double Dash, these things were here just to twist my nipples. And even though the Doom Slayer is unable to experience human emotion, the devs need to remember that I can. The ending of this level did lead me to a few deaths because of, you guessed it, my dog ass arsenal and movement, but eventually I completed the second level of Doom Eternal. The terrestrial planet that held the cultist base was in my sights. The tussles here weren't too much for my expertise. It was difficult, but my trusty shotgun and I was able to make it through. The platforming though, <laughs> woo, it's... It's kind of hot in here. Fuck that. Attempting these was like opening a bag of Skittles and dropping them all on the ground. Although precious time was wasted on such an easy section of the game, the next areas were different. The great amount of asses clapped was something special. Stuff you'd write home to mom about. A couple of sticky bombs to the forehead and a chainsaw when ammo was low. Maybe a little grenade tossed in there. You know what I mean, baby? All of this made for the perfect concoction of demonic explosive diarrhea. To be honest, technically, I I lied, and this run was actually supplying me with the poopy butthole blowout, but I kept my head leveled and pushed forward. After hopping my way to Darlene, my favorite character in this current arc of the anime, I did some sort of Freaky Friday type beat shit and swapped bods with her. Doing so allowed me to supply the Doom Slayer with his sustenance. Right from the tit of this revenant, I was fed the super shotgun, and that would be big for a run that didn't allow walking, which is exactly why I decided I would dig my hole even deeper and not allow my Myself to use it at all this run. The amount of bullshit, bullets, and cum being thrown at me was a little difficult, but something happened. Something that will not 
be forgiven. Nearing the end of this encounter, I was left with two health and a heart full of hope. There was a med kit in my sight, my salvation, my saving condom to protect me from the embodiment of STDs in this arena. Until this challenge decided to f*** me so hard, it made me find God and true happiness. Just seconds away from grabbing it, but due to the rules of this run, I jumped over the only thing that would help me live and died. I spent a bit of time repeating the arena, hopped on the tram, and now I think it's time to tango with that sweet, sweet little playdate of mine, the Doom Hunter. Recuperating and unfucking my ass from that previous situation was a difficult task, but fortunately, I was greeted with pleasant ease in the beginning of this level. Being the trained athletic specimen I was, my calves were receiving quite a nice workout from all this jumping, and besides the occasional hiccup, my shotgun was still whipping out its metaphorical fedora and doing nothing but tickling these demons. I really do hope that the personification of my shotgun made you realize how AIDS this was. As my blind date pampered up and went through some sort of Captain America transformation, I enjoyed everything that a man that could only jump would enjoy. It was time to take this doom hunter to shotgun town. Population, only him. <laughs> That was really fucking bad, but hey, I needed a transition. Whatever works, man. It brings me a heavy heart to say this, but the footage for this fight was terribly encoded. In celebration of finally obtaining a sealed copy of Shrek 2 on VHS, I decided to meet my monthly quota of one entire viewing of Shrek 2. This actually happened, and it fully boned my recording. It is historically accurate to have my hot dog water freshly hand squeezed during this fight, but to my surprise, the combat shotgun sticky bombs actually slap. But even even at my disadvantages and almost dying a few times, I was able to pump this bad boy full of as much ass as I possibly could. Praying to the Nimbus clouds, I entered the second phase and hopped my way around. This was where I realized that sticky bombs are the secret Krabby Patty formula to these Doom Hunters. Destroying them seemed almost as habitual as when I speed up my car over bridges in fear of them collapsing. The Doom Hunter made love with the Grim Reaper and the Hell Priest lost its job as a Wrangler for his subversive ways. With this feat accomplished, it was time to head back to Earth and take a dive into possibly my favorite beef curtain, the Super Gore Nest. I was recommended to drink heavily for this part of the game, and honestly, that wouldn't have been a bad idea. I was barely making my way through these hordes of smooth skins, but just the chore of every fight and my movement was getting me to my boiling point. Deeper into this infected uterus, death was synonymous with my name. Being FedEx delivered to me via the demonic alternative, the peen enhancing pills. The area leading outside into the courtyard was also a wonderful and satisfying experience. That is, if you enjoy high blood pressure, and if your definition of satisfying includes having your skull caved in and an ample <coughs> amount of tears. This game feels great and rewards you when you are constantly moving, but doing so isn't very possible when I can merely jump a bee's dick forward at a single time. I was at the mercy of the beings that inhabited this planet, those that just so happened to hold various forms of mental disabilities, which thankfully I could combat, because so do I. Yeah, okay, dude. <laughs> yeah. With skeleton keys in position, I pussyfooted my way to the reactor and set the damned atrocity to blow. The first and last time anything would blow inside this beef curtain. Due to my speed, I am probably the first person to almost fail getting out of the gore nest on time. I'm pretty sure even my arthritic grandfather could have beaten my any percent speed run. There it was, the little stinker known as the Ark Complex, and it was time to find an old friend. Don't mistake my enthusiasm as happiness. I was probably as limp as I have ever been in my entire life. This place was giving me the beatdown I deserved. I was now a test subject confined into a small place and diagnosed with a terminal disease called Doom Eternal without walking. After multiple tries and 16 deaths, my shotgun was able to provide the power that was needed, though the severity of this run was rising, especially when this pinky decided it would hold me hostage until I released a face reveal video. Soon children very very soon even though i am making minuscule jumps across the lands of this game i am truly performing giant leaps for mankind after a couple of preschool monkey bar sessions i flew a little too close to the sun and unintentionally pleased you all this right here is probably what gets you sickos off but if you think that i deserve this then i hate you and you are objectively a walking dingleberry not being able to use my dash or super shotgun chain in combat was a nuisance especially when i seemed to be perpetually ordering the number nine 19 combo with an extra side of sucking fat ones out of my stinker. But wait, there's more. War. 
war never changes. Continuing the rest of this level involved me bolting my bedroom door shut and grabbing any and all pillows in my house to accompany my tears. Hopping my way through, hating my life because I forgot there was a garage section, and realizing that the Doom Slayer actually had a following of simps, I got to Hayden. The demonic authorities had discovered the naughty deeds I have done, and they sent Thick Boy to give me that mocha frappa homebrew ass beat down latte. Successfully getting a stun on the Marauder was a little difficult using this pea shooter. You literally have to be standing in front of them to make things work, which in turn puts you in demonic suplexing distance. That was literally an immobile sex toy the Marauder could do away with. But when the Marauder be acting like a f boy, he gonna die like a f boy. I'm not sure what I did, but a flurry of sticky bombs and sheer luck got me through this. I was victorious, and it was totally because I was chadlier, much sexier, and taller than he was. With Hayden saved and him becoming the equivalent of Halo's Cortana, it was time to bring stability to the world world and achieve my weapon of mass destruction. The one that I unfortunately can't use. Like, uh, God damn! Hyperbolic time training with the controller layout was helpful, and this was all becoming second nature to me. Even a legally blind nursing home patient could see the plethora of cheeks that I was slap chopping. The condition that was given to my Doom Slayer made it incapable for me to enter the poop shoot without a bit of pre-planning and positioning. But eventually, I got to the BFG, had it malfunction due to improper fingering. Listen, guys, I know. Calm, hey, calm down. I'll be here all night, folks. And proceeded to cry because I was not to follow the ways of the BFG this run. A vile crime to many, but my fictional YouTube lawyer told me that the boys would be unhappy if I were to use such a powerful gun. Off I went to continue and explore the remains of this desecrated space station. After removing an industrial Ed Ed and Eddie jawbreaker sized bullet, I let myself loose and continued my hopscotch rampage, happily ignorant in this rated R version of the critically acclaimed movie called Hop. All of this high velocity demonic phallus to my face, but I took it with a smile just to keep you cuties thoroughly entertained. It also really didn't help that getting to this island without walking or any momentum was an entire challenge within itself. After many attempts, a singular tear, and being slapped around by a couple of tentacles, I took the nearest drop pod and shot myself down into the artificially made sphincter on Mars. What do you, my beautiful audience, think happened here? I'll give you guys a few to answer this question. The answer was Z, you goddamn stupid idiots. I got absolutely pillaged. What were you expecting? After that riveting experience, I hopped into the portal to rendezvous with that inbred stupid head, the Gladiator. Just as id software had a little ace up its sleeve, I had mine. Sticky bombs, baby. Clinging to every ounce of life I had, there was nothing special about this fight. Even a wannabe Nostradamus could have seen this coming. 38 minutes of just pounding myself against this challenge, and eventually, this pathetic specimen was done for. Science said it wasn't feasible. They said it couldn't be done. I was not only bricked up by the thought of this achievement, but also because this run was almost done. With the last Hellpriest dead, the Kanye maker was next on the death note. The quest to retrieve my lightsaber was ticked, and the destination set. I was the last remaining member of the Jedi Council. The last Chad to subsist on steroids and banging all of our girlfriends. I had a little screaming session with my boy Maurice the Marauder, and was pleasantly entertained when I had to tap into my inner Bruce Lee and fist these buttons. It was like jingling keys in front of a baby. Or tutorial free V-Bucks videos for prepubescent children. Here's a $10 Xbox and PlayStation gift card. Go get yourself some V-Bucks on me, baby. The Archvile was also quite the bitch to deal with, especially considering the disadvantages that were smothered all over my face. But I must not, as mommy always said, be a little dingus. I am the one that is destined to go on the stupidest of crusades, just to make you, the boys back at home, a little happy. Some more swimmies later, which I'm not a reviewer, but... <laughs> Why is this even in the game? And a whole lot of shit, but not enough come. I was able to 1v1 Maurice's brother, the second marauder this level had to spank me with, and this was a big moment, fellas. Big fucking boners all around. Yeah, this part sucked an entire dog turd. Please don't remind me. Thanks. There it was. My lightsaber was given to me, constructed specifically to teach any and all cucks who the real daddy was. I could now slay all of the D-Gen simps that- Alright guys, listen. I know how this looks. I technically failed the challenge here. 
Me being absolutely juiced up on the amphetamine that is the crucible oh led me to forgetting I was going to use the combat shotgun only. For those disappointed, I'm sorry. But after all this suffering, daddy's gotta have a little fun too. Now here's a little $10 Steam gift card I'll slide in here so you can forget about it and we'll go back to the run, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you. You look great today, by the way. With the red pill now consumed, it was time to bring this tight little bod to hell. Hopefully, they have ample amounts of Dr. Pepper and Courage the Cowardly Dog reruns because I want this place to feel like home. Besides actually losing it to jump puzzles and being told bedtime stories by a pseudo boss 26 times, most of Necroval was simple. With the upgrade of five sticky bombs for my boomstick, I was able to blast these fools and torment them via inhumane tormenting methods, only available for the tormented. I did the doing of great dues after silencing a few unwanted complications and as a result of having no appreciation for the gentleman over at the local demonic YMCA, your boy was a Assaulted by flying Mike Wazowski's. Infatuated by the thought of some more of that non-family friendly hopscotch, you know, the one that involves bullets, I took on the demonic horde that wanted to stop all of the fun I was having and was silenced. Silenced in a way that I didn't appreciate, but I'm sure in a multiverse of Senzas, one of them out there would. I did some more cheating, which by this point I will just let it slide because I assume past Senza was sick of all this torture, and entered the portal to Erdak. The Doomslayer could finally have a childhood and go to Disney land for the first time. This place has had some extreme renovations since I had last been here, but if anyone could ride these bad boys without a seatbelt, the Doomslayer can. This children's amusement park didn't have much to talk about. Besides being caressed by the gentle hand that is inevitable in a challenge such as this, I don't think I could diagnose this level as being on the I f***ing hate my life, why in God's name am I doing this to myself spectrum. A marauder here, a platforming bit there, and a whole lot of wishing that I had purchased more aloe vera gel to suit myself from all of the ass f***ing I was receiving. The con maker was before me. I was here to f*** her up. Id Software's hideously defiled mistake, just as my brain is God's, was pounding me harder than I have in a while. My movement was hindering me, and her military grade pre-Cold War USSR orbital airstrike was tearing me a new titty. 46 tries and very careful movement was needed. Every step planned out. I mean, ugh, fuck. Every jump planned out. Using my sticky bombs to damage her and my super shotgun to get her in fisting distance. The con maker was taken down, and that meant that there was only a Power Rangers Megazord left to destroy. The longer the icon of sin is on Earth, the stronger my urge to Google image search the term yiffing becomes. As the seasoned hopscotch warrior that I was, this final level really had me by the shaft. The enemies here were hyper aggressive and really wanted a whiff of my Doomslayer branded undies. But some Nancy Drew detective work later, and I found the being that was the effective equivalent to a freshly dropped turd. This fight was arguably the easiest one out of all of the boss fights. I have had more trouble getting my socks on in the morning than this shit. My sticky bombs gave him the tickle he needed, and merely 15 minutes later, I was already inside his ass cheeks finishing off the fight. My final sticky bomb tucked him in bed, and the Doom Slayer did the honors of kissing his forehead goodnight. It was done. You can beat Doom Eternal without walking and combat shotgun only. This is probably the stupidest run I have ever done, but it has definitely marked its spot as one of the most annoying. If you enjoy the crusades we carry out on this channel, go ahead and lube up that like button. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so we can officially say that we're dating. Thank you to the many DBG chairmen that continue to keep these crusades going, and here's a little kiss on your foreheads goodnight because I love you all. See you guys in the next video, you dirty stinkers.